everyone, welcome back. I'm Katie, and today we are going to be doing a Christmas book review. So a little bit of a disclaimer before we get started. I normally don't read any Christmas books until after Thanksgiving, usually not even until December. So I was hesitant to ask for this book for a review from Baker Publishing. So thank you Baker Publishing for sending me this book. But I was only hesitant for that reason because I knew I didn't want to read a book that came out like in September or October and I didn't want to wait until December to read it because I like to get my reviews out as soon as I can. But I know I love Melody Carson's books. Her books are so awesome. I love her Christmas books. They're always heartwarming and there's usually a little bit of humor and charm and kind of a small town feeling to them all. So I read A Quilt for Christmas this week by Melody Carlson and the cover number one is gorgeous and they're always really short. So these would take you like a day or two to get through. I think it took me three days, but I was reading a bunch of other books, but super short and such a sweet book. This one actually might be my favorite book by Melody Carlson. And last year, what was it last year? Last year it was The Christmas Joy Ride. So if you haven't read that one, that one's good too. But this one is now officially the favorite of her books for Christmas. So I haven't read all of her books yet, but I've read, I've read a good handful of them. And this one is my favorite so far. It's such a heartwarming story. So this is about Vera. Vera moves to Oregon in hopes that she will be moving from a giant big house to a smaller house, but she'll be closer to her daughter and son-in-law. But as she's moving there, or I think, or I think like right after she moves there, her daughter and son-in-law end up moving to California because he got transferred over there with his job. So now she's stuck in Oregon and she really has nobody. Uh, she's, I believe she's 60, she's 60 something, but she has no family over there. And so she's pretty much alone. She's been there for almost a year and she knows none of the neighbors in her apartment complex. She knows nobody in the area, but she ends up uh, finding a little girl named Fiona on her doorstep and Fiona is very scared and very frightened because her mom says she has stomach pains. So Vera goes across the hall to their apartment and that's where they find out that her mother is is very seriously sick and so Vera takes her and her mom to the hospital and so she leaves her number at the hospital and says you know while she's being taken care of your daughter Fiona will be with me and I'll take care of her. And there's also two other children, which are in school. She ends up taking care of them too while the mother is getting better. So it's all about her finding this family and finding out their situation, how they got to Oregon. And I just, I love the story. It's so sweet. And Fiona ends up finding a Nordic star quilted blanket in her bedroom. And Fiona's like, Vera, can you please make my mom a Christmas quilt for Christmas because, you know, I'm worried about her and I really wanted want her to have something special for Christmas. And so Vera can't say no to this sweet, adorable little girl. And so she immediately says that she can't because there's only, I think there's only a few weeks before Christmas. So it's going to take a lot of time and effort to make a giant quilt with that elaborate pattern, which I assume is right on the cover. <laughs> but she decides, and Fiona, with Fiona's help and the other children, uh, I believe it's the son's help, but he ends up making a little bit of a poster saying, I need help making a quilt, making a quilt for Christmas with her phone number that people can take. Well, they end up, her and Fiona end up taking these posters around town, putting them in the flower shop and the church, and they meet two people right away in the florist shop and also I believe the grocer I believe I'm not sure about that one but they meet two ladies who immediately say they want to help and then someone else from the church ends up calling and saying she wants to help as well so she has three ladies plus herself to help make this quilt for Christmas so it's a really sweet book there's not much romance in it so if you're not a romance reader there is some 
but it is a minor plot compared to the rest of the book. So it's really good, and I think anybody would enjoy this one. So they get together, and they start making a quilt, and the one girl, or the one woman, I don't know why I say girl, but the one woman who's in the quilting group, she offers to have her house open to make the quilt because her house is the biggest and there's a lot of room. But she's not exactly the most kind or <laughs> gentle person in the world. She's quite grumpy and just has a pretty much a bad attitude with everybody. And so Vera and the rest of the girls are kind of worried that she's going to kind of bring the quilting group down and they want to have a good time and chat and have fun. But there's there's reasons why this woman has gotten this way. And so we see a lot of Christmas spirit and God happening in this book, especially near the end of the book. And I just really enjoyed it. I think you will too. I think this is a great book to pick up for Christmas if you love nice, sweet, hometown Christmas books that are just filled with with family and newfound family and friends. I just think this is a absolute perfect book for Christmas. So pick it up. Thank you again to Baker Publishing for this book. I think it will be a great book for Christmas for anybody. And with a good cup of tea right when you're reading this as well. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a nice quick review since it's a nice short book, but I absolutely think you will love this. The little girl Fiona is the most adorable little girl you will ever see in a book. She's just the sweetest little cupcake ever. And yeah, so pick this up. I think you'll enjoy it. Get it from your library or whatever. It's, I believe, already out. I will put the publication date right here on the screen for you all. But yes, so hurry up and get a copy of this because I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's such a sweet book and I nearly cried at the end. It was such a sweet ending. So I absolutely loved it. So that was my review for today. I think anybody who picks this up is absolutely going to love it. It's so good and I think you're all going to like it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.